Hey guys, Press here. I'm here to tutorial for you guys how to get the smoothest twixter possible. Um, so what you first want to do is drag in your clip, and the thing is, your clip to do twister it needs to be 59.94 FPS or frames per second. But this will not work. It will make so much warping and all that crap. It won't. It will look ugly. So um, you want to drag your clip down to your video right here and click on this looking tape or whatever enable frame blending you click that right okay now you go to composition you go down to composition settings go ahead and click on that um for youtube you know you, your width should be 1280 by 720 it look really nice um change your frame rate to 59.94 hit enter um so you would go to layer now click on frame blending go to pixel motion that will help you not get warping or ghosting that much um time for the twixter so you type in twixter in presets and effects or whatever and then uh drag your Twixter Pro in there you go um now copy down my settings you know 59.94 for your frame rate go down to image prep contrast uh, don't worry about the speed yet go to frame interpret whatever it's called uh, motion weight blend warping inverse with smart blend go down to main and click that and put 60 in it now go to the place you want your twist to be in so the key thing is that if you want a smooth twist you want a place where you know there's not a lot of motion so right here seems pretty good now you want to hit this stopwatch that enables Twixter, go over one frame, and then put three percent. Uh, five to one percent is like like the best right there. Um, so if you hit U on your keyboard, you know your effects will pop up. Now just drag your way through. Now, if you want to stop your Twixter, hit add another keyframe or remove a keyframe. Go over one frame and set your speed back to 100. And then you got your thing, your clear speed of your clip. Now you want to go to the place where you're about to like reload again, but this I'm pushing for bear. You're pushing in the clip. Uh, Add a remove keyframe, go over one frame, set it to three. Um, now, if you see you don't have any more room to add your clip, and to it takes up a lot, go to composition, composition settings, and go to duration, and then change that number. You know, you can add like 20 seconds to it or more, and then go to layer time enable time remapping to be let you able to you know, extend your clip now you have more room to like, do your clip say right about here you want to end it add a remove keyframe go over one frame and then set your speed back to 100 um as you can see the clip looks so much smoother um, let me pre-render it for you guys. This might take some time, so just let you guys know that this might take a while. Okay, so let's uh, pre-render it. Go over here, and it says RAM review preview. Click on that. 
and I'll start uh, previewing your video. As you can see, the video looks pretty nice. You can you can't really see any you know warping or you know, ghosting. It looks so smooth. Um, just remember, it has to be well right there. You can see warping, but you know I might have done something wrong. But just the place where you want to reload or zoom in with the sniper, just make sure a place for a stop movie as much. Um. So here's part of the clip. Yeah, I haven't done program previewing. But I'll just get to it. Now the audio, you know, check out the audio. Still looks pretty nice. It's just warping because, you know, I'm just ramming the video. It hasn't been done finished. So here's a end product. Looks pretty nice. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want, that's only part of it to extend. Now, if you want to render your video, you want to go to Add to Render Queue. Click on that. No, pop up on the side of the tab. Um, go to Output Module. It's taking a long time to load. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this will pop up. You want to change that to AVI, or um, if you have quick time, you can use that too. But I prefer uh, AVI. If this hasn't been checked already, check it. Um, go down to format options. Now, if you're recording with like an HDPVR or whatever, you want to set this to DVNTCSC, or you can just click on Intel. Doesn't really matter. Um, go to best settings or render settings and put this to best resolution to full size has to be this um just put this to read only and then all these stuff doesn't really matter and then you can just use either this or this don't worry about custom there's nothing in there to worry about but okay and then you, if you click on this you can change what you want to call it so you know you can call it Twixer test bear at 50 cal and then just go ahead and click render I'll start rendering um thing I prefer to do is when hit your caps lock that will enable to not let it move while you're like rendering it so it takes like two times it's much faster and all that so yeah if you guys enjoyed uh yes feel free to hit that like button below and subscribe stay tuned to my next videos and updates and yeah peace